for your honours. I think I might watch some of these more tonight, some of you. Uh -huh. Thanks very much. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, obviously yesterday's uh, announcement of arrest um, was, uh, and a person being charged was a, a significant step, and um, you know it's a it's a very difficult place Denise and I and the family find ourselves in, which is uh, somewhere that we've worked extremely hard over seven years and eight months to be in, and yet when you're there, um, it's a place you don't want to be. So uh, you know it's. Uh, uh, it's it's a, an extremely difficult time, and uh, and last night was not pleasant at all. But um, you know we're we're really indebted to the police that have um, worked extremely hard over the full course of the course of the journey to uh, ensure that we are where we are today, which is uh, a man being charged. And um, you know we, we're just uh, obviously with the the matter before the courts. Um, Denise and I and and other family members are very limited in what we can say. Um, we, the last thing we want to do is, uh, is prejudice any legal matters ahead of us. How do you cope with the fact that you have seen this person that has been charged before? Yeah, look, we don't we don't want to make too much comment about um, the person that's been charged. Um, you know, it's it's not really um, a, about us and what we thought. Um, we we just. Uh, uh, really pleased where we are, and we'll let the legal process take its course and and uh, and go from there. But uh, you know, the, there's still a lot of work to do, and uh, you know, we, we are aware that it may still be a couple of years or even longer before um, you know this this matter is uh, has fully been run out. You put a lot of faith into the inquest. You were hoping that new information would come out of that. In your wildest dreams, could you have imagined that could have led to an arrest? Well, you're always hopeful. You know, uh, every day we get up, um, we were thinking today's the day we find the answer. And, uh, and certainly as we worked uh, towards the coronial process, um, you know, that, that was uh, an extremely difficult time. But um, we got up knowing that that had a purpose and, um, and without any shadow of doubt um, that was uh, perhaps crucial in, um, in getting where we are today. It was that review process that um, um, en enabled uh, somebody to become even uh, uh, more in the spotlight and um, you know there, there's been an enormous amount of work in the four months since that person gave evidence and uh, I'm sure that'll be uh, uh, evident as, as this goes to trial down the track. Can you talk about closure? Do you, do you agree with closure? No, um, Closures are, are not a word that we're very comfortable with, and, and, and please consider that um, a man's been charged. Um, our, our priority as parents of Daniel is to find Daniel, and um, that's what we're driven to do, and, uh, and we're reassured that the police service is very much hard-nosed in finding Daniel um, and, and returning his remains to the family. So. They've been to somewhere that you have been to. Absolutely. Yeah, they yeah, absolutely. The, uh, the police have um, had open communication with us for many, many years and um, you know, this has not been an easy process and uh, I think we can all appreciate that um, the amount of information that's come forward from the public has been extremely helpful but sadly some of that, um, uh, some of those criminal elements have thought it um, in their best interest for notoriety or to confuse the police. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, they've uh, they've they've hampered the investigation, which um, you know uh, uh, has uh, has been extremely upsetting to the family. Bruce, what sort of support are you getting through this through this uh, as you do at this difficult time? Oh, look, the the public are absolutely extraordinary. Um, you know, the uh, the amount of uh, media interest um, uh, is. Is, is quite unbelievable, really, and uh, you know it's right around the country for full front page ads and, and live crosses on TV, and um, you know we're we're really appreciative of the work of the police, but also the media for keeping this in the public um, area, and uh, and no doubt the, the the public have been really strong in coming forward with any information they've got, and um, you know we're. we're uh,
weeks, as, as the weeks turned into months and the years, did you ever give up hope? Did you ever think that there wouldn't be a breakthrough, that you wouldn't be in the situation now where there is a man? No. No, we'd never given up hope. Um, we, we've always said today's the day we find that information, and uh, truly little did we know that yesterday was the day that we got up that we did find some information, but uh, we still have a long way to go, and, and really our, our focus is... Um, is not so much on the man that's been charged. Um, we'll let the legal process run that course, and, and really, you know, we're, we're observers in that. You know, there's not a lot we can do. Had the police what, what we want to do is find Danny. Had the police made it clear they were closing down the suspect? Uh, in, the, in the pre preceding days. No, it, uh, it actually came as quite a shock yesterday afternoon. And, um, um, you know, we, we'd had um, some communication um, about um, uh, Assistant Commissioner Condon uh, wanting to meet us throughout the day, um, but um, we had no idea that that was um, notification of an arrest. Um, we just thought it was uh, ongoing communication as we've had over the months and preceding years. Do you think, do you think we would have got to this stage if it hadn't been for your courage and your resolve? Because you fought hard throughout the would we be here without your resolve? Oh, um, I, I like to think it's been a team effort. You know, um, we've, we've certainly put ourselves out there and made ourselves available. And we've said right from day one, the person that's responsible picked on the wrong family. And we said we'll never give up. And, um, uh, well, we're true to our word. But uh, also the media have been terrific. They've never given up. And, of course, the police have never given up. And... Uh, you know, we, we could, uh, um, I, I know the police commissioner has stated publicly a number of times that this was the case that he personally wanted solved before he retired. And um, anyway, I, I think we're a long way um, to that fruition. So, um, Bruce, what would you like to see as Daniel's legacy? Well, Keep if, the foundation going. Certainly, um, in just three weeks' time, it's Child Protection Week, and um, certainly in three weeks' time, it's uh, it's Child Protection Week right around Australia, and um, and one of the high priority aims of the foundation is that um, we educate other children on how to how to be safe, and to how to keep themselves safe, and how to remove themselves from danger, and um, we'd organised a trip from Brisbane to Cairns to talk to some 20 different schools on, um, on uh, how those children can uh, pick up those safety messages that are, that'll give them the life skills to, to keep safe and uh, we still plan to, to continue that trip and um, uh, so, so uh, you know Daniel's legacy will be that um, many many other kids uh, will be safe from predators and um, you know, that, that is uh, something positive that um, uh, that will come out of this very sad affair. Mr. Morgan, what are your plans? What are your plans for attending the court tomorrow? Um, we'll we'll uh, we'll just discuss that privately. But um, we we have already seen the person that's charged, so I'm not sure um, there's necessarily anything really to gain from that, um, uh, other than it being extremely upsetting. Uh, to us and, and extending that pain. So, um, you know, we, we know who it is. We know what he looks like, and um, we've already given him the glare. Um, you know, I'm not sure we can do much more. Are you going to go to the search area? Have you, have you made the decision whether you will go and visit the search area at the moment? Um, there, there are discussions at, at the minute, um, uh, and, and police are assisting us with um, information on that search area and, um, uh, um, you know, uh, they'll, they'll certainly um, provide some vision of that to us later today and and, um, and if we're up to it, uh, no doubt we'll pop out there. But, um, you know, they certainly haven't found, as I understand, uh, any of Danny's remains or, or anything significant. Um, so we'll just... Uh, Hope and pray that um, you know that it, it does become significant in that area. How are the boys? Uh, 
Uh, look, the, the, the boys are extremely quiet and um, uh, they, they have, certainly haven't said a lot. Um, we, uh, we just hope that they, um, you know, uh, put some of the events of the last couple of days uh, behind them, but uh, it, it's just, uh, it does bring, uh, you know, almost eight years of, of thoughts and discussions and, and theories um, to the forefront and, um, you know, that, that's what we've gone through is all those stories. Um, you know, some have been correct and, and many have not been, but, um, you know, I'm sure they're weighing up all the, all the difficult times as well. You talk about the child protection police. Is it simply a case now that physically and emotionally we have to take a step back? Are we going to take a step back now? No, I, I see um, the, the foundation's work as a positive thing. And, uh, and look, the community have supported us enormous, enormously over the journey. And uh, this is our way of saying thank you. And uh, it, it's just something the family want to do to make sure that other kids never find themselves in Danny's situation. And uh, um, we, we appreciate the, that um, abduction is extremely rare. But, um, you know, unfortunately, child abuse is not. And, um, you know, if we can um, encourage children that have been abused in the past or are still being abused to come forward, notify police or the kids' helpline or a trusted adult, um, you know, we, we think we're doing the right thing by Daniel and, um, you know, that's what he'll be remembered by as, uh, as making a difference. So parents who are in a position here today that might be having to explain to their children what this is all about, what would be your Look, um, I, I think if we just try and keep it simple for children, then that is to be observant and adults to be observant. And if they see anything that's suspicious or they feel is wrong, then to follow up on that hunch. So if it's a child, tell somebody that will be in a, a position to help them. So their parent, uh, a, a friend's uh, parent, um, maybe the police, the kids' helpline, somebody that can do something to follow that up. Maybe a suspicious vehicle, suspicious person, activity, um, maybe some internet activity on their Facebook. Um, whatever it is, if they don't like it, they feel it's wrong, tell somebody. And um, uh, obviously those people um, you know, will be dealt with by the authorities. Let's just ask you something remarkably strong I'm not real sure, to be honest. Um, we just uh, do what we think is right, I suppose. And um, it was it was right to come out here today and, and thank uh, the, the media, the community and the police. And um, that's, that's why we're here, because um, with, without those vital ingredients, um, you know, we would never have uh, been in a position to, to solve the case. And, and uh, it, it's been all those links in the chain that have helped us get to where we are today. And, uh, you know, as I say, we've still got a long way to go. And, and uh, with any luck, um, you know, we'll, we'll uh, march towards a guilty verdict from here. Nearly eight years is a long time. Did you ever get to a point where you thought you almost gave up hope? No, we've, we've always um, been positive in our thoughts that um, we're going to find the answer. And... Uh, of course, we, we're only halfway there. Um, we, we're still looking for Daniel, and um, uh, you know that, that's that's the, the personal focus for us is to uh, to see if we can find uh, Daniel. Denise, there's been amazing support on the Sunshine Coast. Is there anything that you'd like to say just in relation to, to, the, to, the, to the response over, over the years? Just thanks to everybody that um, supported us, the foundation, our family. You're pretty passionate about seeing the foundation go on. I could see, you know, would you like to see the, the, the government start to step in and, and, and provide the, some funds to... to with, with a bit of help, yeah. Because yeah. I know you've, we need you've it. really had to... Yeah, yeah the, so um, the, the foundation has really survived on community donations and, um, you know, to, to get some uh, recognition beyond that at, uh, at a government or a corporate level will be uh, uh, extremely helpful. And, uh, and while I've identified Child Protection Week as only three weeks away, we of course have the 28th of October being Day for Daniel, uh, which we, uh, uh, we we tag as our day of action, 
where we want children to leave home in the morning um, with a with a safety message incorporated in the in the school day, so that when they return home at three o'clock or four o'clock, they are safer with additional tools um, to use to keep safe at the end of that day. So, uh, so certainly September October is uh, is an enormous couple of months for the foundation's work, and um, you know we just hope that that um, the, the exposure um, of uh, the the events over the last 48 hours will make Child Protection Week even more significant and uh, and obviously that will be driven home with the day for Daniel on the 28th of October being really significant and, um, and if anybody wants further information just jump on the Daniel Morkham website. There's an incredible amount of anger on social networking I, I think it's really important that uh, that people's judgment um, needs to be very much measured, and uh, and we've tried to um, uh, to be examples of that, um, where uh, you know we, we uh, uh, the human nature is to perhaps be a little angry, but um, you, you've just got to ask yourself: is that being helpful, or is, or is that a distraction? And um, look, at the end of the day. Um, we want the right person uh, to have a guilty verdict, and we want to find Daniel, and that's why we, we are always cautious and measured and, and try and do um, the right thing to make sure that we're heading forward and not um, and not being a nuisance or or look at the end of the day to to stuff it up. Denise, Denise, are you angry? Not yet. Just 